Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create this particle simulation velocities. So first, let us create geometry and just go inside. And now we will create any object to create the particles. So just let us create a sphere. And the next we'll take a pyro source. So connect to this, enable. And now in the pyro source here, uh, we need to initialize to like source mode. And in the mode, we need to select this volume scatter. So next we'll take an volume rasterize attribute and select this. And now inside this, uh, we need to select this attribute to density. So we got this more. So next we need to take an pyro solver, the pyro solver and just we need to connect and I will enable this. And now inside this, we need to go to this sourcing option. And now in the temperature, so here in the source volume, instead of temperature, we need to select this density. And also we are not using any flame. So just I will remove this option. So now we will see, just we'll click on this play. So now we got this smoke. So next in the pyro solver, we will go to this uh, like fields and here in the dissipation, like we will give the value to 0 0.002. And also just I will enable this real time and now we will click on this play. Okay. And also I can give more lesser value like 0 0.001. And now next we will go to this sourcing tab. So now we need to expand this uh, smoke here. So for that, what the thing is, we need to add a source. Uh, so just we'll click on this. And now it has been added a source. So here in the source volume, we will uh, select this density. And also in this field, we will select this divergence. And also let's increase this value. So we can give up to like three. And now we will see this. So now the smoke has been expanded and now this is not enough. Uh, we can give the value up to like uh, 12 or something. So just we'll go back and now we'll click on this play. So we got this nice expansion of the smoke here. So now what the thing is, the simulation is a little bit fast. So if you want to decrease that, we can go to this pyro solver and in the temperature field, we can uh, like select the operation to add and also just we will decrease this source scale so let's say we will give the value to 0.1 and now we will see this so now the simulation is slow and also if you want to convert it into like more slow simulation uh, so just we can decrease the value let's say we can give to 0.01 or something and now we will see this so now we got this slow simulation and now we can uh, decrease the expansion. So if you come down and just, just we can give the value to like six or something. And now we will see this. Okay, now this is looking good. And also we will add a little bit of turbulence. So if you go to this shape option and just we can enable this turbulence and we can give the value. So let's say we can give to like uh, one. So now we will see this. Okay, we got this a uh, little bit of turbulence. So if you want, you can increase uh, like more turbulence value. So we can give like up to like three. So just we can see. Okay, so we got this nice simulation. And also we'll add a little bit of noise in this smoke. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to take a node called attribute noise. So select this and we need to connect in between this pyro solver and this volume attribute. So just we'll connect here. And now in this, we need to uh, select this attribute name to like float. And also here we need to select this density. And also we can remove this seal. And also change the range value to like zero centered. Now we will enable this. And now uh, in this attribute noise, here we can decrease this element size. So let's say we can give the value to 0 0.1. And also we can in increase this amplitude. So just we can give the value to up like 1.8. And also like uh, we can set the operation to multiply. So now we will enable this pyro solver and just we'll see this. So if we go back and now we'll click on this play. Okay, we got this simulation. So as we have added the noise, so just we'll decrease the value of this turbulence. So if you select this and just if you go to this uh, shape and here we can decrease the value of this turbulence to one. So now we can enable this disturbance and we can give the value to like five. Okay, we got this nice simulation and now in the pyro solver we'll go to this output and just we can remove this uh, cd flame and temperature i just we can remove this 
and also enable this convert to VDB use 16 bit float. So next we will take a node for like popnet. So popnet. And now we will connect this peer to this first input. So now uh, next we need to take a node for points from volume. So just we need to connect this. Why is this? Because like uh, as we are creating these particles, so if you select this popnet and just uh, for timing, I will disable this. Now the particles are generating based on the surface of this pair. So now suppose if you want to create a more particles, then we need to take this uh, like points from volume and we need to connect in between this. So now in this points from volume, so if I enable this, now we got these particles. And now if you want to increase more particles here in the points operation, we can decrease the value to 0 0.01. So we got this more particles and also just we will randomize this positions of this particle. So in order to do that, we can select this and we can go to this Zeta scale and just we can give the value to one. And now what the thing is, we need to connect this uh, like pyro solver to the second input of this pop net. So just we'll connect to here and we will enable this and now we'll go inside. And now here we need to take a node called pop advect by volume. So select this, just we need to connect here. And now we need to add the velocity to this node. So if you select this and here we can select this second context as in the geometry tab, we have connected this uh, velocity of these particles to the second input. So like if you go inside and now we need to select this and we need to select this second context geometry. And in the pop source, uh, we can select this emission type to all points. So now we will see this. So just we'll click on this play. Okay, we got this more particles here. So now what the thing is, we need to select this pop source and we need to go to this part birth tab. And here we have to give the animation to this impulse activation. So what the thing is, uh, we need to give the animation means like we have to generate the particles only to the five to us 10 frames. So we need to give the expression. So just we'll give the expression to like dollar sign F less than like uh, six frames or something. And also we need to select this uh, pop advec volume. And here advection type, we need to select this to like update velocity. And also down, we need to select this to like trace advection method. And in advection method, uh, we need to select it to like trace. And now what the thing is actually, if you want to see properly here, you can see uh, there is an option like display material object. So we can uh, select it to like pixel so that we can able to see properly. So now we will simulate this. Okay, we got this nice uh, particle effect. And now we need to add the color to these particles. So just we'll take a node called pop color. So select this pop color and we need to connect in between this. Uh, so now in here in this uh, color type, we can uh, select it to like RAM. So we got this and also here we can select the, it to like a speed RAM. So according to the speed, it will change the color of these particles. And also we can increase this. So let's say just we will increase this to up to like five or something. So according to your requirement, we can give the range of this value. So just we can give up to like six. So now we will play this. Okay, we got this nice particle effect. So if you want to create more nice simulation, we can take a node for like pop drag. So select this and we need to connect after this source node. And now we will see this. And also if you want to decrease the velocity of this, uh, we can select this and just we can decrease, we can give to like 0 0.8 or something. And now we will see this. So we got this nice effect. And also now if you want to increase the number of particles, we can go back and just we can select this and we can give the value to 0 0.006 or something. So just it will increase the number of particles. And now we will see this. So here we got this nice simulation after increasing this uh, number of particles. And now what the thing is, so if you like go to this information, we have a lot of attributes over uh, this node here. So we need to clean that. Uh, so in order to do that, we can take a clean node. So select this and we need to connect here. And here uh, we need to disable this option like remove like degenerate primitives. And also we have to enable this like remove attributes, remove groups. And also just we can use, uh, we can disable this option like remove unused points. And now we got this particles back. So now if you check this, uh, we don't have any attributes here. So we have only one attribute. 
So in the next video, we will see how to render these particles. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.